Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Wingman Wisdom, where today I'm going to respond to a video that I just recently did, some of your comments, and get back with you. I'm going to read one particular email, and I'm going to try to be tactful in the way I respond. But I want to start off with just a, an unusual story, and I want you to just picture this. This is a, a I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I'm not going to show you the email that came in, but I am going to show you part of it. Imagine you're going to go shopping for an RV. You start looking online, your wife finds a really great looking RV at a, at a dealership and she contacts the dealer, she speaks with the salesperson and she gets the, the, the pressure treatment right out of the gate. She's a little bit turned off, but this, this guy's very, very persistent and says, no, 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 we've got other RVs, blah, 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 and starts spinning her off into these other units. And he said, if you'll give me your cell phone number, I'll send you some pictures. So she gives the cell phone number and he goes out and he starts sending some pictures to this lady. And so she's looking and she's feeling this pressure from this guy, just sleaziness that I think that we can all understand, we can all relate to. And she gets this one picture and I want to know from you, would you buy... <laughs> Would you buy an RV from this guy? <laughs> Look at the picture. Look at that guy. There's no way. There's no way this guy could have intentionally sent that photograph to a, a prospective buyer. I mean, do you think? Look at that. <laughs> the moral of the story here is, uh, yes, does the RV industry have to clean up its act? I think we do. We need to... Everybody needs to be on their best game. Is that on your best game? I don't know. Maybe it is for some people. But how would you like to get that if you were an RV buyer? How would you like for your wife to get that from, from a salesperson that sends it? Oh, my God. And this is a real story. I mean, this really happened. So I'm not going to tell you what dealer or anything else. But the moral of the story, the takeaway is be careful. Be careful what you put on social media or even in your phone. You can pull the trigger on something. You can never. That guy, maybe he's proud of that picture. I don't know. He fuzzed out his eyes, so you can't tell who he is. But I don't know. I just think it's kind of weird. That's why I like to do business with people that I know that would never do that, ever. So let me go to a, a recent video. I, I did this on my own, and it was about one of my wingman approved dealers, Cheyenne Camping Center up in Iowa. I love these people. I really do. And I was just trying to give an example of what a, I believe a really good dealer, how they will treat you. As a wingman approved dealer, here's what happens. If you are going to buy an RV and you want to be getting the VIP treatment, I can arrange that for you. I really can. I know some of the best dealers in the country. I love them. I trust them. I trust the, the way they do business. Are they the greatest human beings that ever were? I don't think so. But neither are you. Neither am I. But they're people that I can trust that have been in business a long time. They will not rip you off. They won't, as they say, rip your face off. They will treat you with dignity. They will make the buying and owning experience exciting and fun and not so stressful. So, I explained that. What happens is if you email me and you say, look, I want to be contacted or connected with one of your personal contacts, I really do connect you with that dealer. Stephen, I'm not going to give his last name, but let's look at Stephen's email. He said this, sent this to me. He says, uh, good morning. I want to bring this to your attention. We have been to the Cheyenne dealership in Iowa that you brag so much about. I am not knocking them, but you're the owner's friend, a celebrity People you know you, and your face is a lot more familiar to people than my face is. People want to help you because of who you are. I wish that was true. I go a lot of places. People don't care who I am. I don't think they care who any of us are. Anyways, people want to help you because of who you are. You get the VIP treatment without asking. So make no mistake, I'm not you, and people like me don't get treated like you. You won't get treated exactly like me. Why? I don't know, because you're you and I'm me. But here's the deal. These are my friends. If you want to be contacted or connected with one of my wingman approved dealers, I've got many of them, I will do it personally. You can call them. You can contact them. Say, look, I'm a friend of the wingmans to my personal friend over here, and you will have a connection. You will be treated differently, I believe, better than if you just contact them out of the blue. I'm just saying. He goes on. He says, me and my wife have looked at campers at Cheyenne dealership off and on for the last 18 years. Truck campers, we didn't buy one. Pop-up campers, we bought elsewhere. Small hard sides, we bought elsewhere. 
Then we wanted the Alta 2350K RK, but we bought elsewhere because I guess we look like looky-loos, non-buyers to the dealership. The, the truth is they didn't carry that brand. We didn't get a salesperson involved because we didn't see any Alta campers for sale. That's because they didn't carry any. We could have overlooked them, but I don't think so. We were dead set on this brand and floor plan. And so, of course, not every dealer is going to carry every brand. That isn't going to happen. You talk about the term looky-loos. I've got some straight talk I want to give you. There are many people that watch Wingman Wisdom that will never buy an RV, ever. They're going to think about it. They're going to dream about it. They're going to go shopping. They're professional shoppers. They're not RVers. They don't want to be RVers. They want to wait till the perfect time. Everything is right. The planets have aligned. Everything is just perfect. And they're going to be a time vampire to many of these dealers, even some of my dealers. My dealers want to help you, but they can't hold your hand forever. So if you're, as Stephen is saying, a looky-loo, please be respectful of people, of dealers, because they can't hold your hand for 18 years. Would they like to sell you an RV? Probably. I would think so. But not everybody is going to buy an RV, and some people that buy an RV shouldn't buy one at all. Stephen continues. He says, I'm sure Cheyenne Camper Sales is a great place. I enjoy listening to your friend speak and, and explain what he sees and understands. He's very informative. I'm not you. You shouldn't suggest that I can go to Cheyenne dealership, be treated like you. You're a friend of the owners. I am a friend of the owners. I'm a good friend of the owners. I don't tell you these things to upset you, but to remind you that you're a little more privileged than I am. And I'm a little more privileged than a lot of other people. Mel Brooks said it best in an old movie years ago. It's good to be king, Stephen. Well, I am no king. I don't know what that would be like, but you will be treated like a king or like at least a VIP person. If I introduce you to one of my dealers, you may not buy from them. I'm not saying they're the only dealers to buy from in the country. Are you kidding me? There are other dealers out there. I'm not saying these are the greatest human beings that ever lived. Because if you think I'm saying that, you're wrong. Respectfully. If you want somebody that I trust, that I think that you can trust, you can contact me. I promise to try to help you. Now let's go to um, let's go to the video comments from others like Steven, except they posted this on YouTube, and I wish that you would comment on this video. Curtis says, love your channel. Don't apologize for yesterday. That content makes your channel more authentic and down to earth, sitting around the campfire and chatting. And that's what this is, uh, Curtis. This is a virtual campfire where we sit around and I talk and y'all listen, and then y'all type and send me comments, and I listen. I read every one of them. Joe says, amen, wingman. Purchased a 2023 Flagstaff Microlite 21 FBRS from them this winter. After getting burned by bishes earlier in the summer, Cheyenne had the best price on the internet for the unit. Dealer treated me with respect. Truly appreciated my business. Give me a fair price on the trade. There's no BS finance manager bull trying to push all that added crap. The salesperson actually handled all the paperwork. Joe, you understand because you went to Cheyenne. You know what being treated like a VIP is like. I think that other people want to be treated like you were, Joe. He continues. He says that, yes, the unit was ready to go camping before we went through the pre-delivery. And then they winterized it for me to take home. You're so right about Cheyenne. They're a great dealer with great products and a great price. And I have news for you. I am not going to get paid. If you buy the biggest fleet of RVs from Cheyenne Camping Center, I'm not going to make one penny commission. I'm not going to make a dime at a finder's fee. But I promise you, I am going to get a lot of um, psychic income, knowing that I connected you with somebody that you can really trust. It's not just Cheyenne. If you click the word uh, more down in the description, you'll see other dealers that I do business with. I love these people. I think that you can trust them. But the ultimate decision, whether you buy or own an RV, you sell an RV, that decision is yours, okay? Own every decision that you make. It says, I've checked out Lane De Delker. Uh, I've checked out Cheyenne many times. Cedar Creek was one of our finalists, finalists for our next RV. However, the wife and I ultimately decided our new RV was going to be a Montana. Montana is also a great unit. But I really enjoy it when you bring Kevin on your channel. His approach and demeanor are really a breath of fresh air. If you've not uh, gone through the inventory, I guess, of my videos, look for some with Kevin Fraser and me. These are just sit down, talking back and forth interviews. If you listen to Kevin, whether you buy from Cheyenne or not, I promise you, you're going to go, that dude knows his stuff. And he is so honorable. He's got such integrity. And you will, as I said, you'll learn so very, very much. goes on and says, um, if going to CCC Cheyenne Camping Center costs you 1500 bucks in fuel, how would that affect the price? Might still be better. A little math will tell you about how much you pay in gas to drive there and back. Simply add the price quoted. Then you have the price you will be targeting. 
Um, I wish you had a referral to a motorized dealer who deals in older RVs. I do. I'm looking for a specific model Big W, Winnebago, I guess, from 2000 to 2006. Brian, I work with and do consulting work with a company called PPL Motorhomes, and a link to them is down below. PPL is the largest consignment RV dealer in the nation. They are huge, and they sell thousands of used RVs that people consign through them every single year. People travel from all over the United States to PPL, one of their locations, to buy a good used RV. Uh, they've got a huge website. You can go there if you, you know, you got to put this uh, big Winnebago from 2000, 2006 on the, a wish list. You can create a wish list on their website and enter your email address. And if that comes up in their enormous inventory and it changes every single day, you will get an email notification say, hey, you may want to check this out. This is just exactly what you said that you were looking for. So there are people that you can buy good used RVs from and places that you can sell your RV on a consignment basis. I encourage you to check out PPL Motorhomes. Let's go. Let's let's get another one. It says, uh, uh, I think it is in the word dealer. <laughs> I haven't met an uh, honest sales dealer ever. If there's job to try, it's their job to try and fleece the public. Just is. I don't agree with that, Ralph. Too many people, uh, too many dealers do fleece the public. A lot of times that fleecing uh, is of the public's own doing. And that's why I say take responsibility for whatever decision you make. The dealers I work with, they ain't going to fleece you. I promise you that. Let's get one more. It says we purchased, oh, this is a good one, Mike Levinson. Levson. We purchased eight campers from Mike at Cheyenne. Our first was an 87 Coleman. Of course, numerous travel trailers. We do not own one right now. If we ever get back into camping, it's the only place we would shop. I'm a damage appraiser now. Their body shop guys are great to deal with. Great place. I agree. So my point is there are great RV dealers out there. You have to find them. If you want some help, I will try and help you. I will steer you in the direction. Check out the links in the description below. Don't judge a dealer on, boy, they got a pretty website. I'm going to buy from them. There's a lot of dealers that spend a ton of money on a website and they don't spend any effort in service after the sale. And they will, as I say, rip your face off. Look at the dealership. Read the reviews. If you trust me, you don't have to buy from these dealers. As I said, I'm not going to make a commission, not going to make a finder's fee. Do I do consulting work with them? Yes, I do. I do consulting work so we can work together to hopefully raise the level of the RV industry. Dealers need to improve their service, their image. So many dealers out there are terrible. Some of the dealer salespeople even send pictures of them like that dude right there. I don't think that would ever happen with one of my wingman approved dealers, but let me know what you think. Are finding dealers that I can refer you to important to you? Uh, if you would like to download a free RV report, you can certainly do so. Uh, go to freervreport.com. It's really simple. I want to buy an RV. I want to sell an RV. And it's a lot of information, but I will guarantee you, whether you're a newbie, never owned an RV before, or you've owned a bunch of them, there are some nuggets of, as I say, great information inside each of those reports that will save you money and prevent you from making some really, as I say, catastrophic mistakes. So thank you for watching today's video. Uh, let me know what you think. Did I go over the line by showing you a picture of that guy? <laughs> that guy right there? <laughs> let me know what you think. Thank you again for watching. Drop a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to Wingman Wisdom. Give this thing a thumbs up. And if I haven't offended you too much, share it on social media with your family and friends and people that want to get a little bit of a laugh and hear the real deal about some of the dealers that I approve of. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home.